Hello, welcome to Code Box Automation Lab. This is Sharful. In this lecture, we're going to see how to solve session not create exception or could not start a new session and the response code 500, which is very common error happen in APM or Selenium world. This issue is specifically we're doing the demonstration specifically for APM. You know, if you if you do the APM or mobile automation, you know, in a you know, in certain point, you know, you will come across this kind of issues. Uh, whether uh, whether you are going to do an Android automation or iOS automation, you know, it is it's happened all of a sudden, and you don't find any solution. You know, you you rarely find the specific solution. So we'll see. We'll do a similar you know this kind of demonstration today and see that how we can solve. Okay, so here we have our code here is you know we're not going to go details about the code here so if you're familiar with the APM so probably you know it this is the you know the APM server automatically to kick off the server automatically this is the code programmatically code to start the uh, APM server here is the desired capabilities okay and uh, here it's just very simple uh, this is our Android driver and here is very simple you know a locator over here we we're going to use an one app where we're going to you know find a locator it's um, using one of the accessibility ID and then we'll click on perform click uh, the click action okay and then driver will be quit and also server should stop and here let's let me minimize this uh, and here we have our virtual machine you know so this is our virtual device and this is the app so let's run it and see you know if we can you know get that kind of error so it's running okay so you noticed you know Please watch our virtual device. We'll see the console log. Okay, we can see the, the APM server, which is the version 2.0, the better version. Looks good, 200. So it's kick off the server so it should also talk with our virtual machine on a virtual device still this looks good okay you can see it's kick off it's invoke our app our app name is API demo so here is a preference and it didn't click on preference element and it's closed the app so let's see what it shows the and you will see our console let's expand that let's go to there is a fail so it's our test case is called fail you can see and let's see the the masses here you can see this is the test uh, you know uh, our method so it's got failed and this is the error is saying session not create exception could not start a new session response code 500 and unknown server error you see an unknown server side error occurred okay so that's kind this is the very common uh, the problem it's happened in APM world even in Selenium world so if it's a Selenium world so it's a there is a easy solution probably you you don't have you have a compatible issue between your browser and your chrome driver or your driver so you need to check your driver and update your driver with as per your uh, browser so that's the solution most of the times it works for selenium but uh, apm it's a little bit tricky let's see how we can resolve it to, to solve it here is a couple of uh, 
action we can do. First, you know, restart your emulator or reconnect the real device. So that could resolve the issue. Okay, so you can do it. I already tried, it didn't resolve the issue. Number two, you can create a new virtual device with a platform version with the 28 or Android 12. Because it is it is sounds like it could be the compatible, you know, the issue between its Android and uh, you know uh, and your APM okay so it could have a uh, you know that's what we found I checked on Google so this is the Google community you can see there is a you know uh, uh, there is a you know device API level some error they're seeing over here if you see try to download the previous version of platform tool package level 28 or also you can try with the you know APM studio uh, get the emulator easier and it's uh, so it has a uh, some sort of like you can say in incompatibility issue between platform version uh, like 29 and the, the APM so even though we are using APM 2 it still looks like there's a uh, there's an issue so we're going to create a let's create a new device okay so I hope that you all know how to create a new device let's uh, close it Let's say so if your your Android Studio open, so click on create device. So here you can see uh, let's use the Pixel phone over here for so Pixel 2 is fine, you know we'll use the Pixel 2. That's fine. Next over here so you will see the api level so over here we're going to use a little bit this is a 29 let's use i would use 28 okay android over here android probably android 12 okay android 12 or the older android the previous version so let's use I would see use 28 okay instead of 29 the platform API level is 29 and you can see this is the Android version so I will use I would use Android you know 9 so this is the one so older version you know you have to uh, select you have to download it so if it's older version it's not available so you have to download first so I'm going to pause you know I hope that you know it let me finish it and create the uh, the new virtual device So, so to resolve the no session exception error, I create a, another new virtual device. Okay, as I said, so um, I create a virtual device over here. It's a new virtual device uh, uh, with the Android 11.0. I created, and then if uh, you know if we run, you know if it will run again. And if you see the issue is uh, still existing, still you are getting here. You know the same error like no session error uh, as well as uh, like a socket hang up it means like you will see that it's invoked the app but it didn't click on the element even though your element the address is everything is right so it's shut down the it's quit the app or driver it's a it's it's a hang out hang, hang out the you know the hang hang out the uh, the driver so to resolve that issue that's another solution I found so let me share with you let me share with you so if you go here let me let me share with you you will see that this is a very common issue you know uh, across the Android so this is also like getting socket hang up error which is uh, you know uh, at the beginning it says you know, the no session exception all those things so you will find I will share this link at the below description so you will find there is a lot of you know uh, discussion in this uh, area uh, related to this issue but I found you know you can feel free to go to go with uh, go with this uh, 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 link and see this which one it's work for you but for me it's work this one very simple one like you need to reboot your your uh, you know uh, virtual device so reboot as I said like you know one of the solution is rebooting the virtual device but it's rebooting virtual device it's not just you know that you close your your Android uh, 
uh, device manager and reopen it's not that it's called cold boot so cold boot now you know what you reboot your virtual device through the cold boot now so what is the how you do the cold boot now it's very simple let's go say so assume that this is your virtual device right so go to on edit over here and then go show advanced setting and then if you go down go a little bit down over here here you will see your emulated performance over here and then you will see you know uh, I already did it is like a cold boot option so here is a quick boot uh, in your case you will see it's selected by default is a quick boot so you can select this one cold boot okay cold boot and then apply and finish okay so and after that it will re you know, restart your virtual device and it will reopen everything and after that you will try your code let me try the code okay let me go ahead let me try it let me try it and also uh, you know if you want you can add you know uh, this code also that's uh, on the on the top with your uh, to when you start your APM server automatically you can with with your in with your environment so but it's not necessary it shouldn't be the problem so you know let's run it it should work now let me run it run it testing so at this time it's not only invoke the app but also it will click on the locator which is the preference locator as per our this code right and then click on there and also it's supposed to show that disk has got passed okay looks still is good let it go let me put it a little bit up here we go so app got in bulk I can see it and then the preference supposed to click here we go you see the preference was clicked yes it was clicked I saw that preference was clicked and and after that you know it, the driver got closed as well as server got it stopped right and you can see over here total test run one and no fail or this time it's pass one okay there is no issue so that's the way this is a you know simple solution but it is a very common issues in a, across the APM world and it's a lot of people they are getting you know all of a sudden so a lot of times you will see the same code is running yesterday but it's, but the next day you will see this we're getting the the issues like you know the session not created and then the socket hangout you know all those things right so this is just you need most of the times you need to you know uh, reboot your virtual machines but reboot is a cold reboot okay not just you know close the your uh, Android uh, you know the virtual device AV ADB managers not that one so you know do the cold reboot your the, the virtual machine virtual device you're you know you're using first you know or or you can just create another uh, new virtual device and and see that's you know and invoke your app first and then run the test again see this if it's working if it doesn't work you know uh, do the cold reboot okay so that's all for today thanks a lot have a good one bye bye